All right, guys, we got a fun little project here this afternoon. Uh, I just replaced the battery in this Subaru because it sat for about a year without driving it. Um, long story short, the California DMV has our title and we asked for it 13 months ago and they have not given it to us yet. So I'm gonna build a quick little battery tender, uh, solar powered. Um, this is about, I don't know, maybe 70 bucks worth of stuff. Um, definitely less than 100. So the wife said absolutely not to running a cable across the yard. Um, so here we go. Uh, really, we should just drive it more, but this is a fun little experiment to um, keep this battery charged up and topped off, ready to go. Um, when I replaced it, it was two volts. Um, it should be about 12.6 right now, but we'll find out in a second. So what we have here, is a solar charge controller uh, 30 watt rich solar i think it's about 30 bucks um wired up some quick quick connectors here um so this is these are just two jumpers um you know i wanted something that would clip onto the battery easy um you know i really should solder these but i haven't um uh, this is speaker wire uh, i think it's 12 gauge or 14 gauge it'll be fine uh this is all relatively low current stuff um, so we have that plugged into the battery portion of this charge controller um, and here on the solar panel cable we've got this um, with some of these handy little things here i guess you call them dc j <coughs> excuse me dc jack connectors um so we've just got those wired up to the speaker um we've got this end over here and we've got this end over here uh, this is a 25 watt solar panel uh, i think this is about 25 bucks so you know this is all pretty pretty easily acquired stuff um, these are the tools i used uh, the leatherman instead of scissors to cut the tape um, you know, i just wanted to see how fast i could put this together it took me about five minutes to wire it up um, so we we're going to go ahead and plug these leads onto the battery uh, to get this charge controller powered up and then we will plug in the solar panel and see how things look all right to power on the solar charge controller all we need to do here is plug in the battery so we've got the black on black and we've got the red on red and hey check it out we've got power on the charge controller so Saying zero for PV, which makes sense. PV is not connected. Battery is 12.5 volts. That'll be 12.6. Um, drove it yesterday. Looks like it's uh, sleeping here. So um, let's see what's going to be the most interesting when this starts back up. Probably the PV amps, we'll say. So we'll just leave it there. Um, now I'm going to plug in the solar panel and we'll see where we're at after that. All right, so we got the solar panel mounted quote mounted um it's just sitting on the windshield here facing south uh ran the lead down here through the hood um that should should work fine through here once that's closed um all right so now i will connect this guy up <clears throat> this is all hard to do one-handed all right so now we have a solar panel looking thing on here battery with uh, three bars and um it says here we've got um you know, i don't know what the default here is but if we hit set there's no loads we're not gonna have any loads we're just trying to keep the battery charged up uh, so it cycles through here um, battery is 12.8 this is up from 12.5 a minute ago um, it's charging at one amp uh, 25c because nothing is connected to the temperature port uh, PV, uh, the solar panel is at 13 volts. It's at 1.0 amps, which means 13 watts. So with that, uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and close this up and, uh, and see how it looks. So I think there's enough space here. There's this little cutout. Um, let's see how this looks. <clears throat> All right, so with that we've got a solar battery tender 10 minute project um this is going to keep this battery fresh as can be until we need to uh until we need to do something with it so thanks for watching